guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today's video is gonna be really fun. I'm actually comparing two of the newest foundations that everybody has been reviewing, talking about, raving about, and all of that. So those foundations are the new Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation and also the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And believe it or not, I have both of these on my face right now. So one side has the Bobbi Brown and the other side has the NARS. So I've tried both of these foundations out already. I just have not worn them all day on the face. So really Really the purpose of this video is to see which one wears the best throughout the whole day. So far, I love the coverage of them. I love how they look really, really natural on the skin. They're not too cakey. They're not too thick. They're very lightweight, but I have not worn them all day, like I said, and I just want to see which side looks the best, which one holds up more than the other, and all of that. And also, as far as the shades, I am in the shade Golden Almond in the Bobbi Brown, and I am also in the shade Macau in the NARS foundation. So right now, I want to go ahead and apply both of these on my face so you guys can see how they look on the skin, how they blend out, how they, you know, look compared to the other. And I'm going to come back later on. It's going to be later on tonight um, to follow up with you guys so you guys can see how it looks on the skin, how they held up throughout the day, and also let you know if I like one over the other, if that's possible. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how these apply on the face, how they look on me, and how they hold up, then let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so as always, I went ahead and did my brows off camera. If you guys want to see a full brow tutorial, I do have one of those on my channel. And I also went ahead and primed my face. I used the Kors Brightening Priming Moisturizer. And what I also did, since we're going to be doing a full wear test and I'm going to be wearing this pretty much all day, I went ahead and primed my T-Zone with the Mattifying Primer. And this is the Too Faced Prime and Peachy um, Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So I just pretty much put this product everywhere that I tend to get oily throughout the day, which is around this area right here. So I do have normal to oily skin. So my T-Zone tends to get oily throughout the day and then like the rest of my skin is pretty normal. It's not oily. It's not dry. It's just normal. So yeah, so this side of my face, we're going to be applying the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and I am in the shade Golden Almond. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to be applying the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So both of these claim to be longwear foundations. I've already tested both of these foundations out. I've had them on in previous videos, but I haven't worn them all day. So far, I really like them both. But like I said, I just want to see which one I like best if I wear it throughout the whole entire day. So the time right now is 12.43 and I plan to wear this at least until sometime tonight. So let's get started. So first let's apply the Bobbi Brown foundation and I'm going to use beauty sponges for both of these. I just find that these blend out so much better with a beauty sponge and these are from Real Techniques. So let's go ahead and apply the NARS on this side. I do see that the Bobbi Brown foundation is a little bit darker than the NARS, but let's go ahead and blend out Bobbi Brown. Now I did mention I've already tried both of these foundations as far as my first impression. The Bobbi Brown, I love the coverage. I love how it looks so natural on the skin and it blends out. Like it looks like my skin, but better. So. That's my first impression on this foundation. Just put a little bit more on there because we definitely want like full coverage for today since we're gonna be wearing it all day long. I'm just gonna take a clean beauty sponge and blend this one out too. Okay, one thing that I am noticing um, as far as the differences between the two, Bobbi Brown, it feels more tacky on the skin, and NARS is not as sticky as the Bobbi Brown side. So that's one thing I am noticing so far as far as, you know, the difference. All right, like the Bobbi Brown, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit more of the NARS on this side. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I get done blending everything out. So we have Bobbi Brown on this side, and we have NARS on this side. 
So I'm getting more of a dewy glow with the NARS side than I am with Bobbi Brown. And Bobbi Brown just looks more natural on the skin than the NARS. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what everything looks like once I get done applying my makeup. For the eyes, I use the Milani Most Loved Matte Palette and I just used two shades out of here. I used the darkest shade right here, which is a really deep plum shade. And then I also use this really pretty like um, tan shade right here for the inner corner of the lid. And also for highlight, I use the NYX Born to Glow highlight. I use the dark um, bronzy shade in it right here. And that is what I use to highlight the face and I also use this really light um, white highlighter right here for the inner corner of my tear ducts. And for the lips, I use my NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Oatmeal Raisin. For my blush, I use the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Blush in the shade But First Coffee. And for my bronzer, I use my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the shade Deep. I'll be sure to have everything that I have on my face down below in my description. I do apologize for not doing a full tutorial on it, but this video is all about these foundations. So again, this side has the Bobbi Brown foundation and I am in the shade Golden Almond. And this side has the NARS foundation and I am in the shade Macau. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and probably film a couple more videos and of course wear this throughout the day, see how it holds up, see which side I like better, and yeah. So far I don't really see a difference. I am noticing one thing though, and that is my smile lines. This side where the NARS side is, I do see my smile lines peeking through, like it's starting to crease right there, and I don't see anything on this side where the Bobbi Brown foundation is. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and start filming some more videos, get some pre-filming out of the way, and of course I'll be wearing this throughout the day and then I'll come back and follow up with you guys later on so I will see you later all right you guys I am back and the time is now 9 3 p.m. so it's been a little over eight hours and the foundation is holding up really really good both sides look really good I am noticing a huge huge smile line right here on this side of my face and I still don't well I see a small um, just a really small smile line right here um, where I applied the Bobbi Brown foundation, but on this side where the NARS is, that smile line is starting from here all the way to here. So it's definitely separating in that area. Um, other than that, the foundation looks really good. Right in here, I do see a little oiliness. Um, I don't see it as much on the side where I applied Bobbi Brown. And I'm also noticing a little bit of breakup in this area right here. So I am noticing that the foundation is separating just a little bit on the side that I applied NARS. And on the side that I applied Bobbi Brown, I don't see any, any separating anything, you know, I don't really see anything, um, you know, any separation. But right in here is where I can kind of see my smile line peeking through but not as much as I can see it right here I'll try to zoom in more closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you're not able to see it from this far away but other than that the foundation honestly it looks it still looks good for it to be on my face for a little over eight hours now which one do I like the best I would have to say I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with Bobbi Brown because it looks amazing it's not separating on my face as much as the nars foundation it still looks really flawless even though i have worn it for a little over eight hours but yeah i'm definitely going to be choosing bobby brown over the nars so yeah that is my review on both of these foundations let me know if you have tried these out let me know which one you like better if you do have both of them i would love to know how you guys feel about this foundation as well and yeah i think that is everything i have for this video if you loved it make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.